currently leading the, the Thai league. And uh, of course, the big, the big um, uh, weapon that they have is Sitapong Kamchan serving. Is Sitapong the key to their whole success? I think there are five keys to the Thai success in the this. near end of the screen there. There he is. He's been serving around about 67% throughout this tournament. It's not good enough at this top level, is it? It won't cut it against the ties, that's for sure. I do not envy the man though, Shahir Rosti. Shahir Rosti, number eight, number four, number Excellent, thank you. We got it out of him eventually. But Thailand, here's all the Thailand. Well, they are to the great and the good of the Sepaktakural world. Uh, before the match. In what kind of form Shahir Rosti is in today. If he's at his best, he can be potent. Love all, best of three sets. Fine start. It's a confidence booster for Shahia. City Park sets. And what is blocked? Harold. He's blocked oh, by City Park. Incredible. Carol's a market. I scarcely believe his luck. Sinapong with the big 192 centimetre tall frame. Makes it look easy at the net. Centre three serves. Oh, and Sirod, what a pick. Just out from Carol Zaman. The rank Sirod, the feeder. Picked up one off the tape, it's an incredible reaction. Great skills from Rangsarot. This is his touch here. Ooh. He was expecting the big power serve, which is what Shahi was going for. Fine serve, angled down onto Shahi Rosni. Generally, Shahi has been reading the serves of Sitipong. This one is just exceptional placement. Finishing the ball nice and short in the court, he catches Shahir. Six, seven. <laughs> Big response. <laughs> 70 kilometers an hour. Great courage, Shahir Rosdi. It is so, so difficult to back up a service fault with a massive service winner like that. A shorter angle delivery. High class serving from Shahir. Indeed, two service faults, but three service winners, two of which came in that set of three. Shahir Rosdi. Arrows it at Sitipong. Service winners. Timeout has been called by Thailand as a result. Is this just to slow the momentum of Malaysia, Alex? Indeed, they've taken the timeout in the middle of Shahir Rosdi's set of three serves. No doubt to unsettle the big man. It's their serve, Sitipong. Narazaman <laughs> and Shahir. After you, Claude. Shah here in Cairo. Possible to defend, but it smashes into the tape like that. Great sportsmanship, though. Just off camera, Fahad Adam. As soon as he realised he was beaten, he gave Sidabong a big thumbs up across the net. We might see it here. Not quite, but. Even when they lose points, Malaysia are really enjoying this battle. There it is, the thumbs up. 15, 16. Ah. Oh, what a perfect time to produce a tape service. Great stuff, 69 kilometers per hour. That one was drilled into the top of the net. That will count as a service ace for Shahir Rosti. 
Now we said this would be a key performance indicator for Malaysia in this match. Shahi's effectiveness from the circle. He's got one ace, four winners, only the four faults, so that makes his service percentage 76. Oh, we are at the serious end of the set. Much for Anawat. Excellent control. He's showing a variety we've not seen before. Awfully mature serving for an 18 year old. Coming up against arguably the world's best team. Showing us power and then backing off, applying some soft. Followed by a 66 kilometer an hour serve. Win by two points. However, we're now in a juice situation, so the serve will change every point. That means scintillating stuff. 28 minutes of call time. It ebbed, it flowed, it flowed, it ebbed. In the end, Thailand just had enough. Two controversial calls, though, in the midst of that set, both against Malaysia. And in such a set of fine margins, that could have been instrumental. Game on here, well, truly. relatively easy balls like this one get past them. They need to come out firing or else Thailand with the momentum, with a set under their belt. This time it's Anawa Chai Chana to make it a Karifa on their own service for Thailand to open the second set. Almost got away with a little bit of a cheeky accidental winner. Did Farhan Adam, but Anawa right there at the first say and then the last. followed by a tape service winner. A little bit of a stumble from Sidipong, but he comes good in the end too. Oh, ready and waiting, Ahmad Azat and Mohamed Zamri. Well, Ahmad Azat isn't going to get any game time if Shahir Rosdi can continue firing them down like that. This has been a very effective serve for Shahir. That's the ball quite short in the court to Anawat. Anawat's got beaten on two or three times cleanly. And... <laughs> the point has gone the way of Malaysia. It didn't go over the net, it went around the post. Pong had the right idea. It's hard to tell from that angle. This one should give us a better indication. Even that, a little bit tricky to tell. The ball Three to come. And a tape service justifies staying with him. Putting his foot to a lot of balls. Foreign Adam keeps this alive. Kyrils a man. What were you trying to do there? Ambitious, ambitious is the word, and I think he knows that as he gets up. Probably would have just played that one in and forced Thailand to play it out if it was me, but Farhan Adam, incredible effort. So fast, and just to get a touch, not afraid of the boards. See there, far too much work to be done by Khan. And these guys need to receive the ball from City Bomb. And that's something they can't do, 74 kilometers per hour. This is a rocket of a surf, 76. And Farhan, he's been very good in, in, in defense, in reception of serve. 
You see there, he gets a touch, but it's just not clean enough. And with this, Anawat putting the exclamation mark on what was that went to juice the second one. Slightly more one-way traffic in favor of the hosts. Thailand win it 22-20, 21-14. They win three out of the four Istaf Super Series 2014-2015 tournaments. They are the ones who will be atop the rankings. They are the winners of the Istaf Super Series 2014-2015. Malaysia, a creditable second. Second in this tournament, second overall. They won in Malacca. So they have had a very good season. They got Thailand to shiver and shake a little bit. But when it came down to it today, 